things. This will be Texas's fourth straight NCAA tournament appearance. That's the longest streak since Texas went to 14 in a row, 99 to 2012. We'll let Coach open up with a couple comments and go ahead and start taking questions, Coach. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for being here today. Um, I know our, our guys are excited about this time of year. This time of year, we don't ever take it for granted uh, that you're going to be playing in March Madness. Um, we're super excited about, about getting a chance to uh, continue our journey together. You know, um, this group here has come a long ways from the start of the season to where we are right now. And uh, I think they're still hungry for more and, uh, you know, doesn't want this journey to stop. What was your reaction when you saw that seven seed and then the possible first round matchups? Well, again, I think uh, you know a lot of respect to our to our league. You know, uh, and that speaks volumes in terms of what the committee thought about uh, you know the body of work that we were able to do over the course of the season. What were we able to do in, in league play? I mean, we played the best you know conference in the country, and uh, um, I think that that speaks volumes to that. How does your workflow change this? Year? Or how does your workflow change this week? Whatever you, you basically have two teams to prepare for. It. Well, I mean, you know, I I think. Um, you know, my staff and uh, um, also Warren and, and uh, Corey uh, included have done a great job all year working with me in terms of, uh, you know, managing our guys' workload in terms of trying to keep them fresh and ready to play. We've been at our best this year when, when we've uh, we played with a lot of energy and activity. Uh, so, so something that's really important to us. Um, you know, we got back here and had a really good competitive practice yesterday. We went really hard. Uh, we got up and down, we worked in the half court, we worked on things that, that we needed to continue to, to, to work at, you know, being prepared for, for, uh, for this March Madness. And uh, I thought our guys did a great job attacking that yesterday. Uh, today we came in, we got a lot of shots up, we continue to move around. Now that we have an idea who we're, who we're going to possibly play, uh, gives us a little direction in terms of what we really need to hone in in terms of details of who we're going to be playing. Uh, in terms of a game plan. So, um, you know, we'll staff will do a great job tonight putting a lot of that together, and uh, we'll have some form of preparation for our guys in terms of work tomorrow. But um, we'll do what we've done all year long. We'll, we'll decide, you know, play Thursday night. We'll probably come back in and have a really competitive practice on Tuesday, uh, pull it back a little bit on Wednesday so we're fresh and ready to go on Thursday. Rodney, what about this team's maturation over 31 games to be confident heading into this week? Well, Eric, you know, we uh, we evolved a couple of times, to be honest, just based on getting guys healthy and getting guys back in the fold. And uh, I think uh, as we wound down the season, I thought we were playing our best basketball because we had guys, uh, for one, that we'd had some continuity and some chemistry a little bit over the course of a couple of weeks where guys were healthy and, and we're used to playing with one another. I thought guys really sell into their roles and understood what we needed them to try to do for us to, to be successful. And uh, um, we didn't get the result we wanted at, at, at the Big 12 tournament, but, but we've been playing great up until that point. We played a great half at the Big 12 tournament. We just didn't play the second half the way we needed to. But uh, we've come a long ways, and uh, I think, uh, again, we're playing as good as anybody in the country. Did you say anything to Caden? Because he could meet his former team in the first round. <laughs> <laughs> He's very familiar with those guys. He's familiar with uh, a great coach and, and uh, uh, that, that's done a great job. That coach Ben has you know, done a great job with Virginia, won, won a national championship, you know, and uh, his team's always play great defense and uh, they do a great job in transition defense, some of the best in the country. So um, don't, don't leave out Colorado State now. I've watched Colorado State several times this year and you know, uh, you know, Nico's done a great job with uh, uh, with his group over there as well, and uh, they have a kid that's from Texas, Isaiah Stevens, who's one of the best point guards in the country, and uh, he's a winner. He won a state championship in high school at Allen High School, and uh, he uh, he's made a believe out of a lot of us over the years in terms of how good he's been in his career as well. Rodney, you've been to the NCAA tournament obviously a number of times. How do you deal with sort of the the chaotic nature of, okay, now we have a bracket, now we're waiting on a game time, we have to travel, and all the things that come along with this leading into Thursday. You know what, you start trying to lead on, you lean on some of that experience, Josh, to be honest with you, and, uh, you know, we've been, I've been blessed to, to be a part of, uh, you know, March Madness. This is my 16th time going to the tournament, you know, as a coach, so um, other guys on my staff, Frank Hayes, been 14, you know, 
You know, Steve McClain's been six. You know, Augie's been 19 times. I know all this because we looked it all up. <laughs> <laughs> and I told all our guys, I want that guys, we've been here. We understand what this time time of year is about. And uh, you know, I think the uh, I think the most pivotal thing in terms of uh, this time of year is you just got you have to have a connected team and a team that's really hungry and uh, and really want more this time of year. You know, I said to our guys, it's not always the best team that wins. Uh, this time of year, it's the team that shows up for 40 minutes, and uh, and they play their they play their best on a neutral court for 40 minutes. Y'all got a little watch party or anything with big, the guys? That's the Big 12. Uh, how's that getting you guys ready? Uh, you got got eight teams in, and represented well. No, absolutely. I, I think Cedric. I think um, you know when you play in the league the way we you know we had to play this year, navigate through this season in terms of every game you played was really an NCAA tournament game. It was, a, it was an NCAA tournament caliber team you were playing every every night, whether you were at home or on the road. Um, I thought that, that helped us a lot last year in postseason play, all our teams going into postseason play. You know, you had to start playing March basketball mid-January. You know, you better have been playing March basketball come February. You know, uh, and if you didn't, you weren't going to win very many games in conference play. So. Um, I think, again, it's prepared us for where we're going. Um, we played against great defensive teams all year long. We played against great coaches all year long and great, great teams all year long. What do you know about Tennessee and their young coach? <laughs> They're, the young coach over there has won 800 games. <laughs> it's going to be a future Hall of Famer. <laughs> Would you like to see that happen? Well, you know what? The biggest thing, Kurt, is and the hardest thing in 16 years in the tournament, the first game is always the hardest game. You know, so you, you got to put every. There is no second game if you don't win the first game. So you got to you got to put everything you have into game number one. You'll deal with game number two if you're fortunate and blessed to get to the next one. Okay, you'll you'll deal with that one then. But all the thing we can think of right now is Virginia and Colorado State. Is all we can think of right now, and two well coached teams, two teams that have done extremely well this season. And uh, that's all we have guaranteed in front of us right now. You going to get the guys nice together for a watch party or anything on Tuesday? We've done our watch party already. So, <laughs> you know, we've got to, uh, we just got to get down to business and, uh, again, uh, just lock into the details of what we have to do to continue to get better and, and uh, put ourselves in the best position to, uh, to, to continue on this journey this season. You Is mentioned it? not getting the results you wanted in Kansas City, but how much has these last couple days helped prepare for this week? Well, I mean, again, you know, Corey, uh, you're going to have these games with you one, one night, you know, in the Big 12 and then Big 12 tournament one night. You know, you take it, you know, win or lose. And uh, uh, fortunate enough for us, we're obviously having another opportunity in postseason play. Uh, but uh, um, our guys came back, you know, uh, we took a day and a half off, really. I mean, we took Thursday, we took Friday. We came back and got after yesterday. And our guys were excited about being back in the gym again and, uh, and having an opportunity to extend their season. and. Uh, um, you know, just want to continue to be together and not want to, not want this season to end. If it's uh, Virginia, would Caden be in charge of the scouting report? <laughs> you know what, good Lord bless. You know, we'll deal with that when, when the opportunity presents itself. We, we can only, only think about, uh, um, you know, I, again, Colorado State's had a great season as well. Two, two, two high-level programs, teams that have done extremely well this year. Um, <clears throat> He'll be very familiar with those guys, though. I mean, he knows, obviously, you know, that he, he was a part of a great um, defensive program there while he was there. So, Is it a disadvantage not knowing who you play yet at all? You know, I, yeah, and, uh, you know you, this time of year, you just have to be happy with being in the tournament and having another opportunity. I mean, you really can't complain about where you are, when you play, who you play. You just got to be blessed and say, man, thank God that we're in the tournament and we have another opportunity. To uh, to go out and uh, try to play our best basketball uh, this season. Regardless, you know, regardless of what happens, and, you know, as far as the second round is concerned, whenever you have these situations, on maybe on like the shoot around back the day before, whenever you have you know like old friends in the coaching business or former coach, you know, like it's not in the case of Coach Barnes, do you do you guys have a chance to catch up? Will you take that chance, or is it, or are those situations more, you know, all business, and we'll we'll talk, we'll catch up later. Yeah, I think at that point, I think everybody's kind of locked into their teams and kind of what they have to do to put their guys in the best position. So, you know, obviously, you know, Coach has uh, uh, been a great mentor to myself. What am I, you know, consider Coach family? Uh, but but he'll take care of his family during this time, and I'll take care of my family right now during this time. And, 
and uh, we'll just, you know, we'll do what we have to do in terms of trying to be prepared to, to try to win a ball game. One or two last ones. Uh, just, if you say one strength for Colorado and, and uh, Colorado State and Virginia, what's the main strength that you say? Well, I mean, again, if you watch Coach Bennett teams over the years, I mean, he's always been a, a defensive-minded team. His teams have always been, you know, at, at the top of their league and top in the country in terms of defensive efficiency. Uh, they do a great job. I alluded to the fact earlier, transition defense. They always get back and get their defense set. You know, um, you talk about Colorado State. I think, you know, again, watching them play this year, you, ha you have an older group. Um, you know, Isaiah Stevens, one of the best point guards in the country. You know, he, he, he manages the game. He runs the team. Uh, they got other really good players as well that can shoot the basketball. Really good shooting team. Um, so, you know, two really good ball clubs, again, that have had great years and, and both played in really good conferences this year. Anything jump out at you from a coach's perspective, big picture with the tournament? You know, a seed here or a number one seed there or conference? No, I think, uh, I think everybody's body of work has put them in position of where they are right now. But I think at the end of the day, you know, you, whether you have a number one beside your, your name, whether you have a, a, a 16 beside your name, everyone's in, in, in the, in the uh, in the tournament has had a great year, you know, and, and they're excited about the next opportunity. Uh, and, and it's on a neutral court, and it's for 40 minutes. And uh, like I said earlier, it's not always the best team that wins, it's the team that shows up on that given day and plays for 40 minutes from start to finish, uh, high-level basketball. Thanks all. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.